Hey, what's up? It's me, JDS4696, JBat. Today I'm giving a review for The Batman vs. Dracula. And this is a directed video animated movie based on the uh, TV series The Batman, you know, which was kind of popular back in the, uh, the early 2000s. I think it was like the, the next animated series that was after uh, Batman the Animated Series. So you know, it was basically a movie that's uh, about Batman. I like confront Dracula, you know, Count Dracula himself, which is kind of interesting, you know, because they're both kind of similar, you know, except one is more like, like an evil, and the other one is kind of like a hero, you know, which is like Batman himself. Now this also had like um, it featured like the first like animated appearance of uh, Vicky Vale, you know. So that was kind of interesting to to a certain extent, you know, if you if you're into that kind of thing, you know. But uh, I thought this was a good film, and I'm going to go ahead and give my review for it, you know, and, and like I said, it was based off the, uh, inspired by the Batman TV, anime, animated TV series, that's what it's, that's what it's uh, it was kind of based off of, just like what they did uh, with uh, the Batman, Mask of the Phantasm, how that was based off the, uh, the animated series, so it's kind of similar to that, basically. All right. Now, as I mentioned before, this film, this animated film is a direct-to-video and it is based off the uh, the animated the Batman TV animated series that was that ran from uh, two thousand four to two thousand eight, and I think this was right after the uh, the animated series, the one which I was really a fan of. So that's where this film was actually like uh, pulled from. Was that you could tell it's based on that look or whatever. It has like the same voice cast, the same look of the characters like Bruce Wayne or Alfred, and you know like the Joker and Penguin and various other like people that show up in the film, you know. Well, the film opens with the penguin making a deal, you know, the penguin, Oswald Cobblepot, with an inmate to retrieve millions of cash from a cemetery that is located in Gotham City. So while they're, while they're discussing this in Arkham Asylum, because they're in Arkham Asylum when they're discussing this, the Joker somehow manages to escape, and the penguin as well. So then eventually the penguin goes to like, the Gotham Cemetery, you know, in search of like the millions of dollars. But he comes across like a like a coffin which has a corpse in it, and like penguin somehow cuts his like hand, like his wrist, I think it was, and like blood from his wrist like drops into like the corpse that is into the coffin, and then the, the corpse like comes together and like resurrects, and it turns out that the corpse is like a, a Dracula, you know, like a vampire or something. But then later on, it's known that it turns out that it's actual Count Dracula, D Count Dracula too as well. It turns out that uh, Dracula, uh, he reveals like a little bit about his past, about the, the idea that he was killed in Transylvania, and his body was relocated to Gotham City. So after that, he, he decides to like, uh, after he mentions that he, he he hypnotizes the penguin to be like, to be his servant. So eventually, like Dracula, he decides to turn like all the citizens of Gotham City into vampires, you know. And of course, you know, like Batman has to come in and save the day, you know, and prevent this. Well, I thought this was a, a entertaining film, and in this world, um, like the Count Dracula himself, you could tell that they know who he was. So he's actually like a. It turns out that <laughs> that he was for real. Like when Bruce Wayne actually studies him with like Alfred, like when he's actually like looking it up everything, it turns out that Count Dracula really was for real. So to me, that kind of was kind of intriguing, you know, about the film. Now, uh, it does have like a, to me like the film is very like violent and bloody so you can tell it's really not for like, like, a, like a young, young crowd, like kid, kid type crowd. It's kind of more for like a mature audience, you know, because it is very violent, like a bloody and stuff. Especially like some of the scenes with the Joker, like where he gets like uh, bitten by Dracula himself and he becomes like a vampire, like a, a Joker vampire. Even those scenes were kind of like very like, like bloody and gruesome, you know, like it, it's too much for like kids in my opinion. Plus the film has like little subtle hits about like uh like you know like Bob Dracula like bite you then you know, like he spread and you know then everybody's getting affected and they all become vampires. There's a little like sub like subliminal hints in there about you know like I guess you could say like infections and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this was fun. It has some some, some cool like uh, fight sequences between uh, like the Batman and the Joker and especially like an awesome scene with Batman like fighting Count Dracula, like they're on like this roof and stuff and they're like fighting and everything. I thought that was, that was like an awesome scene. Plus like the final battle between them towards the end, I was cool as well, you know. But um, 
I thought I thought this was pretty good, you know. Uh, it had like this, this version I have of it, it has like special features on it, but I'm not gonna touch on it. I'm just gonna touch on it on the film itself, which like I said was inspired by like the uh, the Batman TV series, animated TV series, not the animated series from the early nineties, but the one that was in the two thousands. So it features like the same voice cast, the same look of it and everything. But I, I would recommend this, you know. Especially if you're a fan of, of that and that particular uh, animated series, you know, which was known as the Batman, I would recommend it. So yeah, this is my review for uh, the Batman vs. Dracula. And this is a direct-to-video animated film from Warner Brothers, you know, DC, whatever. Alright, this is uh, JDS4696 or JBAT. Alright.